So here we've uh, got some uh, question. We've got a question involving fractions, and it's asking us to work out the fraction that it had left. So we know that um, if you had all of its pocket money, that's the whole. So we need to work out uh, what he's spent so far. So we've got two fifths spent on computer game and a quarter spent on favorite band. So if we add two fifths and one quarter. That will tell us the fraction of his money that he's spent so far. Now, when we're adding fractions, we need to remember we need a common denominator to make that work for us. So, 5 and 4 both are factors of 20. So, if we turn these into 20ths, so to turn a fifth into 20th, uh, multiply by 4 of the denominator. So, I have to multiply the numerator by 4. So, that's going to give me 8 20ths. And to turn quarters into twentieths, well, I had to multiply the denominator 4 by 5. So that means I have to multiply the whole fraction by 5. So if 1 times 5 is 5. So 2 fifths is the same as 8 twentieths. And so on. So therefore, we've both got this in twentieths now. So we can add those together to make 13 twentieths. But we've got to remember the key idea here is that we had to find out what he had left. So the whole minus the 13 twentieths will tell me what is left. Well a whole in twentieths is 20 twentieths. We're taking away 13 twentieths. Well 20 take away 13 is 7 twentieths. Because we're dealing with twentieths our answer will remain as twentieths unless the numerator was an uh, even number and they would cancel then down into tenths of maybe fifths depends on uh, what the numerator was. So adding and subtracting fractions, common denominator to help us with that. Um, also with fractions we could be asked to write fractions in order of size so again if we look at this we've got to compare quarters with twelfths with twenty-fourths with eighths um, not easy so easier to turn them into a common denominator uh, we recognize that all of these are factors of twenty-four so if we turn this one into twenty-four four times six so three times six 12 times 2, so 7 times 2. This is already in 24 fourths. And 8 times 3, so 8 times 5 by 3. So we can see here that the, let's start with the smallest. So we can see here that 13 24 was the smallest. 14 24 was going to be next, so that's the equivalent of 7 12 15 24 was next, that's the equivalent of 5 8 And 18 24 so that's the equivalent of three quarters. So that's the fractions in size order, starting with the smallest. So that's a quick reminder of some things to do with fractions.